to the kitchen today. I'm here with Chad from Embers. I'm very excited. What are we doing today? We are going to make Colt Cannon. Okay. Um, we're going to have specials on Friday and Saturday to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, and it's a great excuse to make some really cool food. Awesome. And so Colt Cannon is basically um, mashed potatoes with cabbage and onions. Okay. Uh, so we're going to put our potatoes in our pot and get that going. Just regular potatoes? Just regular potatoes, yeah. peeled them, and then cabbage. Um, about equal amounts of cabbage to your potatoes. Okay. And then some diced white onion. Perfect. And then anytime I make uh, mashed potatoes, I always use a little bit of chicken base. I think the flavor is great and it just kind of adds to it. Yeah, that's a cool idea. And then a little bit of salt and pepper. Perfect. And then you're gonna add water to it and then boil your potatoes down till they're soft. Okay. And then after that, you're gonna strain off all of your liquid. And then you'll add in your um, butter, of course, everybody loves butter. Obviously. And heavy cream. Okay. And then you're going to either mash it with a masher, or if you want really silky smooth ones, you put them in a mixing. Um, like yes. A, works really, yeah. really well. So like either a KitchenAid or like a hand mixer? Yep. Okay. Um, done it both ways and both work really well. Kitchen aids less work, so that's usually the way right, I do it. Right, for sure. Um, okay, so when you're boiling the potatoes, do you wait until like they get kind of soft, or what's your rule? I wait until they get kind of soft. Okay. I usually check them with a pair of tongs, or yeah. you pick one out and try it, um, and bite see. it, and see if it's ready to go. For sure. So how long uh, and what temperature should we do this at? You're going to do it probably about medium high on your stove, and about 30 minutes till your potatoes are soft. And I always make sure you have enough water to cover your potatoes, your cabbage, and your onions. Right. Because you're going to pour it off anyway, so it doesn't really matter how much you put in there. Okay, very cool. All right, so should we take a break and then uh, pull out the finished one when we come back? Sounds perfect. Okay, well, you all stay tuned to see the finished product.